I'm here at MCON and I got to talk about sleep and the extreme importance that role that sleep plays in everybody's health and wellness and resilience, especially in high stress professions like military and law enforcement. Sleep, a lot of people do struggle with sleep, but there are a lot of tips that you can take in order to try and improve it. So don't just sit and, oh, I can't sleep. Actually try some of these. So first of all is developing some sort of routine. And in that routine, you want like a wind down hour, like that hour before bed, you wanna start giving signals to your body that it is time to get ready for bed so that it can start producing melatonin and all those things. This may not work the first night, but it's developing that routine so that over time your, bar your body starts to adjust to it, right? So what that looks like is very low energy, um, relaxing activities, nothing too stimulating. So it's uh, a hot shower, a bath, it's reading a book, listening to an audio book, right? Uh, stretching, meditation, deep breathing, things like that. You wanna decrease the lighting in your household, again, giving your body that signal. Um, you also, when you are sleeping, you want a completely dark room. So if you need those shades, uh, you need to close the door, whatever that means. If there are clocks in your room that have too much light, get rid of them. You need a completely dark room and you want it to be nice and cool. Research says that the best sleep you get is when the temperature in the house is around 60 to 67 degrees. So aim for something around there. And um, yeah, you don't want to be too hot. You want to be cool. You want to drown out the noise. So a sound machine, earplugs, uh, whatever you can do to make sure that your brain is not responding to those other things that might be happening in the home. Tactical napping actually has a lot of research behind it. So they've looked into a lot of different countermeasures to manage fatigue and short naps. Uh Research has shown that 10 to 20 minute nap, and I know that sounds really short to people, but it's to ensure that you're not going into any sort of deep sleep so that you don't wake up feeling groggy, but that you actually wake up feeling more alert and more focused. So it is hard, I get it. We can't always get adequate sleep every single night when we're in you know, a high stress profession, but if in that moment where you're feeling really drowsy, having a short nap can absolutely re-energize you for a period of time. Now that's not going to give you the health benefits that sleep can provide you when you're getting adequate sleep, but it can increase your focus and attention immediately. lot of creative ideas so one I think that you know I've come up against different police departments across the country some of them have union agreements that are very strong about how many hours on and off and so you know that could be part of it is kind of looking at some of the rules and laws that you have around it um, otherwise I've had sleep department uh, I've had police departments come up with uh, rooms where their officers can safely go take a nap they don't feel like they need to be on because they're in their squad car but they actually have cleared out file rooms. They're like, what is this tiny little room that we're not even using? They put work together, they cleared out the files, they painted it, they put nice relaxing things in there. They used some of their wellness money. They got a massage chair, they got a bark lounger, and everyone is using it now. And I think this is such a wonderful way to support your officers in saying, one, your wellness is a priority and we care about you, and giving them a safe place to go and take a nap when you know that is absolutely gonna help them be a better officer are on the street. Time and time again, research consistently shows that when individuals are sleep deprived, their cognitive abilities decline. So it's slower reaction times, poorer decision making, um, less attention and focus, like all the things we need to make critical decisions, react quickly, uh, to take in information and make a decision about it immediately. That's our short term memory. All those things show up to be impaired as we're de sleep deprived, even by just one night. Right? If we're awake for over 20 hours, our brain is functioning as though it's under a blood alcohol level of 0.08%. That's not a good place to be making quick decisions.
My name is Dr. Rochelle Zemlock. I'm a licensed psychologist out of Northern California. I specialize in working with first responder families, marriage counseling, individual, doing spouses groups, and I have my own private practice called First Responder Family Psychology, and you can find my, my website and reach out to me there. You can also find me on Instagram or other social medias under firstresponderfamilypsychology.com.